Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So, I am going to do a flip cup. So, I saw one that I really liked that Julie did. Who Julie did it because she saw one that another Julie did. So, <laughs> it's not exactly the same. Um, my canvas is a different size. I've only got four cups and my colours aren't um, the same. Same brand, but not exactly the same. And my pouring medium is different. So I have white. Um, these are all Montmarts. I have medium yellow. I have magenta. Purple. And this is a grey that I made using black and white. And I made a blue, but I made it a little bit darker blue by adding a little bit of, um, a little bit of black into it. So they're all mixed one part paint, one and a half parts pouring medium, which is my Elmer's clear glue and 70% and water 30% mixture. So I may have a little bit too much paint here. Um, I'm not too sure. So I'm just going to keep going with the cups until they're relatively full. And then, yeah, that will be it. But also my, my Dutch pours have dried that I did. I don't know if I did these ones on camera. Um, there was one video I did where it froze halfway through, so it didn't end up recording properly. So this is them dry, which um, I'm relatively happy with them. They're, they're different to a lot of other Dutch pours. They're very lacy, so there's lots of lace um, lacing going through them. But yeah, so these were just one of the experiments I was doing with different paints, but I'm quite happy I'm quite happy with them. So that's those two. I did four that day. And I think the other two are dry as well. But I haven't I haven't got them out ready to show you. So I am going to start layering my cups. Just trying to work out which order I want to do them in. So I'll probably start, oh, I need silicon. How much silicon oil? I will put um, four drops in each of the colours, except for the white. So I have, hmm, in each cup, I've probably got about 120 grams of paint, which I do believe is going to be too much for this canvas, seeing I've got six cups worth. But um, yeah, I was making up paints and trying to get the consistency right and putting sometimes too much came out of the container and I wasn't going to be able to fit it back in. So when I put silicon in, I always stir it really, really well. Um, probably a little bit more than what other people do. I like, I like cells, but I don't always want huge, big ones. So I find if I mix it really well, I get some smaller cells that I can always adapt to. So that's what I prefer. If you prefer bigger cells, don't stir it as much. Um, yeah, it's just what I've always done and I'm a creature of habit. So, sorry, I normally do this before I start doing the pour. So I'm probably going to go, It's always hard to know which colour to put the white next to, so I'm going to just go white first. Then I will go yellow. So I'm having a little bit of trouble holding the cups tonight.
Number three, I will go in magenta. So I'm trying to do it similar order to what um, Julie had it. I know I'm going to make a mess here. I can see it already. So... will be this grey, well the blue, the blue grey, not doing a good job of this tonight. I think because I've got the, the small pop sticks in my way, I might actually take it out. And I think I'll have a bit better luck with. Oops, that wasn't very good at all. So I'm definitely got more paint <laughs> as I go down the line. And then I'll go back to the white. So I'll do a little bit less white in that one because that one's quite full already. So white I don't always mind in, in flip cups because it does blend a bit better and changes the colors of the darker colors kind of enhances things sometimes. Um, I always do be cautious with how much black I use but I love black in flip cups but um, I love black in most of my pores but you do just have to be a little bit more careful with it and that white is sinking so I'm going to get started on the yellow. That's better, it sits on top when I spin it a bit more. So I definitely feel like there's a lot of paint. And if you don't want to see this part, skip forward. If you're still new and you want to see how it's done, um, keep watching. So I'll probably end up moving the order of these cups so then it's not full to less. I'll probably put the fuller ones in the middle and put the two lesser ones on the edge. But yeah. So this should be quite exciting. Um, it was the blue one now. So I'm trying to go a little bit less in this first cup just because it is super full. Hmm. That's my issue. Um, probably might have to reverse the way I pour the next two colours. Because I'm getting low on paint by the time I get to the end. So I do like these colours and I hope they all go well together. Flip cups are one of those things you can't always predict exactly how it's going to turn out. So sometimes the colours, each cup that you pour out comes out a different colour. Sometimes they all come out exactly the same. 
I kind of like it when they all come out slightly different colours. Makes it a little bit more interesting. Okay, that's it. So that didn't really take too long. I don't know how to edit, so I can't fast forward um, when I do that, do this. And it takes up a lot of time to do editing. So I'd rather spend that time into, um, well, I, I got a full-time job. I go to TAFE um, where I'm studying. So I actually have quite a busy life that I don't really have time to be sitting down doing editing. In my eyes, just fast forward if you're not that keen on watching the whole process. And now the fun part. Whoops. Oh, I've tipped off a bunch of beautiful pink. I'm not really used to using so many cups. That's quite different for me. <laughs> Okay, even though I've got paint all over my hands, I'm going to put gloves on so I don't get more paint. So I'm a little bit nervous about how much paint I have got. I'm worried I'm going to have far too much, but we'll work with that as it goes. Just going to make sure that this video is still going. Hello, yes, it's still working. I always panic about that. Okay, so... Nice colours. No, that, that that was silly. I don't know why I even did that. <laughs> Sorry, that was just me not using my brain. All right, now we're going to flip. And I'm going to do it relatively quick once I've done it because I'm not sure how everything's going to go. Well... That is quite thin. Definitely got a lot of paint. Really was not expecting I think I'm going to make a huge mess of this. No, I'm just going to save these cups. I might be able to pour them onto a coaster with the excess paint in them. So I, I don't really have much wiggle room to pour, to tilt. So I ended up losing a fair bit of yellow because I probably did it a little bit fast. I think I was just panicking about how much paint I had and what it was going to do. Kind of didn't want it to do its own thing too much. I wanted to have a bit of control over it. But I'm going to get these off because they're going to get in my way. So I've definitely got a couple of big cells pop up. But I'm hoping that torching is going to bring some different colours through. Because I can see this grey, which I don't mind. But we will see. So I'm just torching from a height. I don't want to do too much.
So I can't see many cells developing yet. I might be a little bit high, but I'd rather go slow than go too quickly and get lots of unusual shape. Oh, so I think I might have got close then. And you will get different reactions from different um, silicons. So I use the Helmar silicon. Um, I don't have a spot on silicon yet, which I would not mind getting one just to see how different things work and whether I actually like it better or not. I feel that the mix is a little bit too thin. I think I should have done it at one to one, not one and a half. So I'm, got, I'm trying to get a little bit closer on some sections because um, there wasn't a lot happening. Just trying to not to make it too busy. Which I possibly may be doing. Yeah, because my mix is a bit thinner, I think my cells are going a little bit too... Some of the cells get, went too big really quickly. And I am wondering if I should try to stretch it out a little bit and tip some of these off. Just not too sure which corners to tip off. Because I love that, and I love that. So I'm thinking I might try and get a little bit of that off. I don't know if I'm going to improve it or not. We will just have to see. Yeah, there's just there was just far too much paint, I think. is stretching things out a little bit. I don't know if that's good or bad. It's good in some spots and bad in others. That's sometimes the trouble you have. I, I actually don't think I'm going to do too much more because again, I'm making these stretch a lot. So I may actually just try and go back that way a little bit and scrunch them up. And then put it down and leave it. Now I am covered in paint again because I didn't wear gloves that time. Yeah, way too much paint for the canvas. But that's okay. I think I, I for me, I think I probably should have stuck with a one to one ratio and not a one and a half to one ratio because I think it would have kept my cells in a bit more better shape and it would have meant I didn't have too much paint. But I'm actually quite liking the, the depth of it. So it's quite deep with these nice 
bright colours that are popping through in areas. I'm wondering if I should try and just torch a little bit through there. I've already got pattern there, but I think I need to see if some colour is under it. Just want to see if that colour can push through a little bit now. That It is trying. So it is getting there and it is getting, it is brightening up in some spots, but I feel like other parts are just a little bit too dark. My grey and my, um, my darker blue might have been a little bit dark. I was thinking that when I was mixing them up, thinking I really could have done with another light colour in there. But who knows, as it dries, it may change. And also as I put it in uh, a non a non-artificial light, like a natural light um, room, it may jump out and look really cool. So my hands are completely dirty. So I'm actually gonna pause it and then come back and bring it down once I've washed my hands. Okay, so here we are. This is what I see from my angle. The light is making it darker again. But yeah, so it's quite interesting, but I do think if I did this, or if you were to copy this, I would make the mixture a little bit um, thinner, I mean thicker. So, um, others use glue all, I use clear glue. That could be what the difference is. It may be a little bit more um, lighter on things. But it's a nice, so the dark isn't black, so it's actually quite nice. And then when you get these colours, these colours are, like, even then the camera's not, they're rich, rich colours that are coming through in streaks and cells. So bright, bright pinks, bright, bright yellows, some purples. I wonder if I turn this light off, if that's gonna make it a little bit easier. Mm hasn't really changed a lot but yeah it's actually really nice it's quite earthy with having bright pops of color come through it can we get it yeah there we go so this is really interesting but yeah so that was it for today so Try it again, try it yourself, um, adjust your mixtures, adjust your colours if you like. This is the fun part about experimenting and doing different things. If you see something someone has done, try to do what your interpretation of it, but it's always going to be different. You're never going to get anything exactly the same. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, share, like, leave comments, and let me know, yeah. And let me know what you think I could have done differently or could have done better, or if you just love it the way it is. Well, I will see you tomorrow. So have a great night. Bye.